handful of problems. Only, Martha, do you hear yourself? Only a handful of apartment complexes in America were taken over by Venezuelan gangs, and Donald Trump is the problem, and not Kamala Harris's open border? Americans are so fed up with what's going on, and they have every right to be. Oh man, this is a good one. J.D. Vance absolutely eviscerates ABC News host and known Democrat Party shill Martha Raddatz for doing her very best to downplay heavily armed Venezuelan gangs taking over apartment complexes and pretending that the real problem is Donald Trump pointing it out. But he's making these statements that the mayor is flat out disputing. Well, Martha, you just said the mayor said they were exaggerated. Grossly um, exaggerated. That means there's got to be some... That means there's got to be some element of truth here. And of course, President Trump was actually in Aurora, Colorado, talking to people on the ground. And what we're hearing, of course, Martha, is that people are terrified by what has happened with some of these Venezuelan gangs. Sen and Senator and Vance, I'm going to stop you because I know exactly what happened. Martha. I'm going to stop you. The incidents were limited to a handful of apartment conflicts, uh, apartment complexes, and the mayor said our dedicated police officers have acted on those concerns. I feel safer already. A handful of problems. Only, Martha, do you hear yourself? Only a handful of apartment complexes in America were taken over by Venezuelan gangs, and Donald Trump is the problem, and not Kamala Harris's open border? Americans are so fed up with what's going on, and they have every right to be. And I, I really find this exchange, Martha, sort of interesting because you seem to be more focused with nitpicking everything that Donald Trump has said rather than acknowledging that apartment complexes in the United States of America. America are being taken over by violent gangs. I worry so much more about that problem than anything else here. We've got to get American communities in a safe space again. And unfortunately, when you let people in by the millions, most of whom are unvetted, most of whom you don't know who they really are, you're going to have problems like this. Kamala Harris, 94 executive orders that undid Donald Trump's successful border policies. We knew this stuff would happen. That's, they that's... bragged about opening the border, and now we have the consequences, and we're living with it. We can do so much better, but frankly, we're not going to do better, Martha, unless Donald Trump calls this stuff out. I'm glad that he did. Okay, let's, let's, just, uh, let's just end that with they did not invade or take over the city, as Donald Trump said. Uh, I, I want to move on to just a few women. apartment complexes. No big deal. A few apartment complexes that the mayor did not uh, seem was invading the entire city. Let's move on. You're not going anywhere. No crap, Martha. A mayor who allowed this to happen in the first place and to fester until people started noticing is now trying to downplay it. You don't say. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't it the job of news reporters to hold government power accountable for this sort of thing? Not anymore. And not try to cover it up to benefit yourself politically? I mean, she's clearly doing damage control for the candidate she's obviously gonna vote for. Right now, any Democrats or left-wingers watching this are screaming at their screens because the mayor is a Republican. Hell, he's even a Trump-supporting Republican. But guess what? None of that matters. It's still a blemish on his record that two heavily armed Venezuelan gangs took over apartment complexes. And of course it does hurt Biden and Harris, so Martha Raddatz and ABC News are going to do their best to protect them. Now of course the state media is heavily leaning on Trump's expressive comments that the city had quote been taken over. Of course the whole city wasn't taken over by Venezuelan gangs, I don't think anybody actually thought that. Donald Trump is usually hyperbolic, but heavily armed foreign gangs still took over multiple apartment complexes in America. And that shows directly how Biden and Harris's bad immigration policy directly affects everyday Americans. Do you want heavily armed foreign gangs in your neighborhood? Well, we can guess that if they were, the state media and people like Martha Raddatz that call themselves news reporters would be trying to cover it up to protect the government. And they would be doing that over your safety and for their political benefit. Vote accordingly. That's all I have for this one. But if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe because I do post on a regular basis. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.